Hey everybody, welcome back to Bio Mutant. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we are heading out to capture a couple of these outposts. I don't know if we can get them all in today, but I'm going to try. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're just going to stop at this gun, guns flexor along the way. It's near uh, one of the paths towards one of the outposts. We're going to hit that. Um, thank oh, whoa. Okay, we are <laughs> totally ditching the horse. That's actually one of the cooler spots to have this happen. I really wish you could kind of angle it a little bit more, but yeah, I mean, physics wise doesn't make a ton of sense, but yeah, very cool. Uh, I really appreciate you guys that have been watching. Thank you so much. I, I hope that you're enjoying. Um, I know I've shared some of my uh, criticisms. I think most people agree this has been a kind of an interesting game where like some aspects of it are really good and it's it's hampered by just a couple of things. Uh, some of those things are pretty important though. Um, but I am curious to see how the story shakes down, especially now knowing that we can't just take everyone on the uh, on the arc. So that's that's been an interesting aspect for me. Oh my god. And some of them have been like some of them have been declining us, which has been particularly interesting. Not something you see all the time. I wonder if one of the things that would improve um, overall enjoyment for the player would be playing on a lower difficulty. Only because like, even like little mobs like this, they're very bullet spongy. It takes a long time to kill basic enemies. He's still alive. Okay. That said, um, still, still enjoying it. I'm still enjoying the, uh, like it's, it's, it's easy to get you into. To you know what I mean? You don't have to think too hard. This is if you want to have any effect on it. Get the yeah, let's do it. Here well. we go. One arm, then the other. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pumping good. Looking better. You look pretty jacked, let's be honest. And there should be loot here somewhere. Bandage gang jacket. We see anything glowing? I was going to say that if I were a betting man, it's probably up here, but it is not. I didn't even know what that was. A mod stock. That might be worth checking when we do our next... Uh, Gun rebuild. Do we see anything marked? Sometimes we'll see like the dot, the indicator showing us where it is, but I'm not seeing anything. I don't think I can get up there either. Okay. Well, as with most of the loot, it's not something we need. Like we don't know what we're missing, so. Over here. Okay, so now, now we're gonna take this up to here.
Don't let it wander. Point it. Point it? Oh, I'm pointing. Don't you worry. What is that weird, like, floating ball over there? Oh, I wonder if that's maybe like a weapons thing. Yeah, we have a little outpost. That's knuckle down. It's got an upgrade bench in that little blimp up there. Yeah. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> Nailed it. Knew exactly what I was looking at. We'll see if we can upgrade. It's a ton of materials, but uh, it's been a while. Actually, what I'll maybe even do here is let's go in and break some things down. Uh, we can see what we have here. Plated pants. Let's dismantle. Get Just rid of the those. kind of scrap you need. Um, all of this can go. I like our lotus pants. Our look actually is pretty cool. I don't mind it. Okay, uh, we'll go into the head. Oh, that's neat. I wonder if this would be better. Like, look at the crit chance. I think I might actually throw great. that on. And dismantle this. Dismantle that completely. We could modify this with some add-ons. Up the armor a bit there. Get the armor up to 43. That looks pretty good. Bare metal helmet. Love it. And then weapons. Uh, this thing we're not really using. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle that. Spark gloves will keep. Do I even... Do I need these? I don't think we need these. I can't dismantle. All right. Fine. This thing we're using, the pump pump, we are going to get rid of, I think. Just makes more sense to stick with this one. And let's see if we want to change any of these grips. That looks good. Eventually, you're going to type is fine. Out. Small clip. Um, maybe we up this. Uh, but we lose a lot of damage. Yeah. I think we got to stay with where we're at. Top mod. We keep the same way. Let me get rid of some of these. Small things for your big ideas. And then the muzzles. Same thing. We'll just ditch some of them. Okay. Gives us quite a few crafting ingredients. So maybe we can afford to do an upgrade here. Let's modify here. Oh, we're maxed. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, to be fair. Um, the Rectana Moo Blade. You can upgrade the material. It really doesn't give us much. Look at all the ingredients and look at the small gains we would get. And I can't modify that. Okay, well, I mean, fair enough. On a leash. Ask. Hmm. It's only melee stuff. I think we're gonna pass. All right. Well, I mean, we completed a few things there. We got some of the crafting done, or the the dismantling done, I should say. Looks like we're not gonna get too much higher. Um. We'll make sure we're using this. And then... I guess we're using this... The Moo Blade. Coming in! Don't mind me! Now hold up. Is this the path? No. I think I, I need to be like... A little higher? Uh, this looks like it might connect. I go up through here. I'm just going to ignore them while I infiltrate their base. 
They might send word. Seems like your mound likes you well enough. Well, he better. Okay, where are we at darkness-wise right now? Look at that, 28. So I need two more. Two more. And we can do that lightning strike thing from above. Oh yeah, we've been through here. Don't mind me. You can't see me. Bet you could make something shiny out of that metal. You would hope. Let's see if they have any openings down here. Jackpot. I used to want to scrounge these things for health. Um, fortunately, that has become less of a problem. Let's see. Now, we haven't had to, like, battle for an outpost for a bit. We'll see if that There's changes. There's the sovereign who runs this outpost. He didn't expect his outpost to be invaded. Let's but look now at that persuading. You're working with their rival, he can see why. Not I have to sure imagine. Not likable enough to just give up the outpost without a fight. Yeah, I mean, look, our chances are okay. Let's risk it. Says he just realized a peaceful <laughs> end to this. Would That's be hilarious. Best. He'll trust the outpost to you. That's hilarious. The outpost We've been pretty lucky. Your tribe now. Granito outpost done. Easy peasy. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Yeah, no, definitely don't give up. You've got that good superhero thanks. vibe going. Your tribe is growing stronger. He says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You're one step closer to ending the tribe war. Says you're in good company there. Cool. So, if... Are we gaining aura from these? I don't think that changed anything. Um, I think when we capture the whole outpost, maybe... This is a cool design. Um, and maybe that's the way that we get our, our light aura for some other upgrades. Twinkles that it has plenty. Right. He's got nothing going on. Uh, whereas we find those little creatures and we kill them for our dark. I think that's kind of a good balance. Can I get in on this game? Believes the okay, cool. That's great. Some panty pants. <laughs> panty pants. The very rare panty pants. The night feels dangerous and exciting. You got that right. Oh, this is a cool way. What about here? Upgrade, uh, let's say maybe our torso gear. Modify. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go quality upgrade. That's all I can afford. 
But we get a decent chunk of armor off that. Lotus Pants. Uh, we could probably do both. Let's we'll start with quality. And we could further improve it. Oh, we're, we're too broke. Says the gates will remain. Going the other way, bub. Okay. So our next outpost is south. And I'm hoping I can get there without dying on this horse, but oh no, looks like you're on your own. Bye. Do I feel bad is the question. Well, my aura would indicate no, I don't. And it does look cool the way that we're doing it. And look, they're fine. If I follow this road around on the right, yeah, we should be okay. What's that? I don't know if that's my battle. The Netra tribe first beat this into shape. Take this seriously, or it says they've been. What's their defense? They've scouted the outpost while they were waiting and suggests you have a look at what they found before entering. There is a high boom team ready to help with taking over that outpost, but it seems their arc shooter is busted. We can fix that. Seems happy to hear the arc shooter will be dropping high booms down on the outpost quick like. Okay. Give me one second. No problem. I fix things like this all the time. There's pip food here. They chickened out. Oh my god. Well. Oh, I probably have to kill it too. Oh, I got it. Good. Get up there and get fixing. We persuaded one. We're going to use some arc shooters for this guy. Watch your balance. Oh no! We're beating the air! Okay, well that kind of worked. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Okay, one more. Me up.
No, don't fall off. Hello. I can shoot so many more of those now. Nailed it. All fixed up. The arc shooters are already gearing up the high boobs. Hope their aimers are fixed too. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. Couple of easy snags. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they Your all say, Sifu brother. Your thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. So I imagine we have to take down this whole fort. And then we have to go see a great job capturing the outpost. wheels again. You're one step closer to ending the tribe war. Says you didn't have much of a choice. Okay, we got one more. Now normally we'd be like clearing all these outposts and stuff, but uh I think we I think we get it. Anything along the way I'll grab, but I'm not gonna search for every little thing. It's all just stuff we break down into scrap, the which is good, be fun. but as you can see, a lot of our stuff is maxed already. Okay, let's see if we can get that third one. And then it's just the fort. Now, I should also be checking here. So, one issue. Oh, we can fast travel. Because it's an outpost, we can just fast travel straight to it. Never mind. I was going to say, maybe we need to go and mark those signposts. That seems fine. Oh, no. Nice metal scrap. You can always use that. I think the combination of the three was the same uh, last time as well for the last tribe that we had to handle. It was like a persuade and then we had, what was it, mods or something? I don't think we needed to fight any of them. Find us a sunset Ooh. to ride into. Let's see. Just marking my territory before I own it. Says it's time to set the outpost free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to the rival captain. Freedom is not worth having in a world that's doomed. Here's okay, we got an actual battle. Here we go, baby. Oh. 
Shocking. That's a bomb lover. Back in the spot, wrecked it. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it, then hit it toward the gate and blast it. Okay, so these are like exactly the same as previous ones. That looks splody. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not too close, though. Down in front. Kaboom. You're in. Keep going. Here. Here's the second line of defense. There's fire. Set the system on fire? Smack. Oh. That's a little different, I guess. They are putting like some subtle uh, variation in there. Almost there. Oh, we're not like fighting. Any <laughs> okay, just okay. I got gotcha. you. We're just opening the door. All right. Then. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. How'd you get him beat by this guy? Sheesh. All right, we got a fortress now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost. Hello. They all hope you can lead them to peace. We'll see. Okay, so now it's just the fort. The day is dawning. What? The Rocco Block outpost. One of the places the Netra tribes smashed are. together. 
Okay, let's ride. One final place. Now, there's like six factions, right? So I don't know if we have to take down uh, three in order to appease wheels, but... Oh, that was a lot of damage, actually. Or if we'll be prompted to go see him after this. It's, what has been kind of unique is this, in the storytelling is um, the path in which it's asking us to do things. I think we were probably supposed to see him before taking on any of those world eaters, but he did direct us to take on a couple, and then now he's directing us to take over the forts and stuff, so kind of um, bouncing around a little bit. Oh, cool. I, I love how we just do that in front of all of our all of these warriors. <laughs> you guys ready for this? They've been waiting for you. Taking control of this fort will bring peace between your tribes. The scouts have reported activity nearby that's worth looking into before you enter the fort. The plan is to fling you over the wall with a sling lobber. Oh, yeah. However, he wants you to secure a hard hat first, should anything... It's better you go and find one for yourself. It can't be too much trouble, though. It's one size fits all. Easier for you to say. You already have a huge hat. This is all new territory for me. And we've had some good usage out of our uh, paraglider here last little while. Heads up, that peak spot. A great place to watch the world from. Who knows who might be watching you? Is there another one? Where is he? There should be more cliffs here. He's dead now. Seems the keys need to be in sequence to okay. make the ring dinger work. This is new. Uh weird. Can't fool me, though. Hello? Hello? So, the technology from yesterday's is still here the today, ring even if its message is getting old. That's cool. Okay, so we got what we needed. Hey, we already have this. Nice. Return to Sifu there. Didn't we, like, 